Yo, what's happening to all the 27th of June? Just got back from Texas. As you saw in the last video, I was uh, doing an event out there. It had an opportunity. Go by Bailey, Daily Plaza. I'd never been there before. Never seen it previously. Uh, decided to stop, check it out, spend some time over there. Wow. Um, it goes back to, I've always really just kind of been fascinated by the whole thing. How the way that the reports came out were so freaking stupid. You know, the, the Warren Commission, the write-up was ridiculous. I mean, anybody that would believe that stupidity um, would definitely would evidence the gullibility of people. But what I think is the most fascinating about that is that they decided, whoever decided, it's like, we're going to put this thing together and we're going to give the most preposterous bullshit explanation we can possibly come up with. And we're just going to tell them to suck it because there's nothing they can do about it. Pretty damn bold, if you ask me. Now, of course, there's speculation of who is the ones who did that and all that kind of stuff. And there's a lot of times that you're going to hear people in the CIA conspiracy, all that. I've known people in the CIA. There's some really, really, really good people. But it doesn't change the fact that there's probably a lot of damn dirtbags. Uh, you go all the way back in history, all the way back, everywhere you read, kingdoms, when you get into uh, whether you get into the Bible, no matter what, there is conspiracy all over the damn place. People trying to maintain power over others, period. Um Evidence right now in the world we live in, tons of it. We're being told you're just going to have to suck it and take what you've got coming when it comes to a lot of things that are happening in our country, you know, with leadership and wherever else. So it's pretty frustrating, you know. So one of these things I just encourage you guys, man, open your eyes, look around, see what's going on, understand it, understand what's happening. Don't get so bogged down what's going on in your day to day that you don't look and see what is being taken on a minute by minute basis. All this stuff has always fascinated me. And it's just amazing to me how bold there some are to just say, take it and shut up. So yeah, sorry to, to, to go that direction with this, but that's where I thought my mind was. Let's get into some chart stuff this morning. Uh, technology is acting funky, so I'm going to see how this works out. Actually worked pretty good. So sorry for a little pause there. I, this is my third time recording, and it was really acting up earlier. So check this out. Um, that 200 day moving average still continuing to be that ceiling I've been talking about. Now we do have within this area here, I'm showing you're going to zoom on in. This was a support line we were watching really closely. This Fibonacci level that has been support all, all actually for a couple of days. It's been support uh, way back and it was support this morning, but we bounced off of these other moving averages and we pushed below it. Whether it stays below it or not, I don't know, but we have support right below that as well. Uh, I'm I'm in of the mindset we lock it up here, float it down in here, but it could be we're going to float into this, and that could be our support again. I don't know, but we can see it's actually been a very very strong level of support. But we're also talking playing in the higher rates. We're also talking, um, you know, if you've got anything locked, any time frames that are sitting here, anything right now that is you you've got your rate protected, do everything you can to make sure it closes, whether it be with my team or any team. Because we're not going to see things get better anytime soon, from what I can tell. Don't listen to where people say that something's coming down the path. We don't know. That's pure speculation. In fact, you know, there's been some of the experts talking about, hey, you know, we've got, they're, they're talking about what's going on in the banks. And I'll share more about that later this week that explains why things are happening in the fundamentals that they're typically used to seeing. We're actually seeing things completely different than what has ever really happened. And that's what happens after 13 years of quantitative easing. Um, I just believe we've got certain levels of resistance that are going to stay there, strong levels of resistance, keep pushing the market down, pushing our rates up. So if anybody tells you anything otherwise, don't listen to them. If you have a belief of a window that you can lock that and close it within that window, just do it and quit shopping the shit out of it. The more you do that, the more rates go up while you shop. Just lock with somebody. That's it. Lock and close. 30 are fixed. You're talking about the time value of money. You're never paying it back anyway. So who gives a crap? And here's the other thing, guys. If the rate's freaking higher, just a little bit higher, who's paying it anyway? Your tenant is. Who's writing it off on their taxes? You are. You're getting part of it back. Don't get so wrapped up in this. It's amazing to me how people are so wrapped up in that rate that that's what makes the deal. It's not what makes the deal at all. If you have any questions about what makes a deal, connect with me. I'll help you make sense of the deal. Talk to you soon, guys. AaronChapman.com, best place to go. Hit that subscribe button. We're almost close to that thousand. Let's get to a thousand just for fun.